Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in The Walking Dead, the game, the game made by Telltale. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we got Lee here, our main character, and his next mission is to figure out how to get back into the pharmacy. He's got to get some medicine, some nitroglycerin for the guy that's being a jerk to us. So, let's, uh, he said there was a way through the office. Let's check out the ATM. Um, Glad this place didn't get looted. All right, so it hasn't been looted that badly. There's an energy bar here. We'll grab that, put that in our inventory. In case Lee gets hungry here in a little bit. Got Clementine here. Let's see what she has to say. She's got the radio. We sent that one guy out uh, to go get some gas because we need to get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, looks like we can talk to her or give her the, the energy bar. Let's start by talking to Clem. Hi. Uh, let's see. I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Oh, perfect. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, that was one of the most awkward conversations. Uh, nothing from Glenn yet. Let's We're see... Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Alright, and okay. then we'll go ahead and give her the energy bar here, seeing as we uh, listen to what she had to say. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. We took care of Clementine. Alright, so we've got uh, another energy bar here. We'll grab that. I wonder if anyone else is going to be a little hungry. Let's see if we got any loot over here that we can grab. Can we get along here? Nothing popping up along here, that's fine. So we've got Lily here, and we've got her dad, whose name I can't remember. Let's go ahead and talk to Lily. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. Okay. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Uh, let's go with... What's, what's wrong with him? Wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, he can help by being quiet. Um... You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. <laughs> you? I work up at UTA. Uh, was anyone here when you guys got to the pharmacy? Let's go with this one. anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? No, because this yeah, might be Lee's family. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were. We were close. <laughs> I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh, that's not good. Uh, what do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Ain't that the truth? Uh, we're gonna ignore he's got a temper, because I feel like that might set him off. Uh, let's go ahead and back out. Sounds good. But we're not gonna give them the energy bar. That's gonna go probably to... There's the office. Um, ooh, there's another energy bar. Let's grab that. I'd like to give it to Duck and Kenny. Because, uh, you know, they kind of helped us out of the farm. We can't let anything Ice cream menus. I know, hon. Some more stuff over here we can look at. Got some greeting cards. This guy, what's his name? Doug. And we got the cork board, some newspapers, and then we'll check the food box. I doubt there'll be anything in it, but let's check it. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hmm. All right, and then we'll take a peek at the newspaper. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. Hmm. All right, and we've got a radio here with Carly. What do you got to say, Carly? Pretty good shot. 
Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Hmm. Uh, handle yourself you well. Handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. My asshole. Uh, that guy saved that you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. Carly, in the middle of the end of the world, thinking about love. Um, how'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. And then what are you working on here? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. All right, Lee, what do you got? Um, flip the radio over. Flip the radio over. Volume power. Okay, it's not going to be as easy as power. My guess is the batteries are bad. I will put the antenna up. And then let's take a gander at the batteries. No batteries. Okay, so we got to find some batteries. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Some double A's. Okay, well, I bet you those are going to be in the office. Take a peek at the cork board and then we'll talk to Doug. Easter egg hunt. So we know it's kind of like March, April. All right, Doug, what do you got to say? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Want to step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Um, sure, let's have a look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Thems are some walkers there, huh? Power's still on. That's always a good sign. They're munching down on whoever that was. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. They got a furniture store, they eat. office supplies. Whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. <laughs> so too we better keep it down out of here all right let's take a peek around we got a brick bunch of walkers electronic warehouse <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news <laughs> it would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere atlanta's in rough shape and that's all i know all right we got the <clears throat> excuse me the hardware store i can open the lock we're not going to do that did you guys try to get in there Get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. Okay, so we got the lock. We've got the trapped walker. The trapped over there. What's that say? <gasps> Better him than us, huh? B. Everett. No. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Is that his brother? Do you know that guy? It could be the kind of his face. No, he's just dead. Um, has a familiar face. It's either his brother or his dad. Could be anybody, you know. Oh. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, Doug. Oh, that's so sad, Lee. The uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Hmm. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Well, that's disappointing to say the least. Boarded up window. A hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. 
All right, so, and then I think that's everything. Let's just go ahead and grab the brick now. Can't reach that brick. Okay, so let's, okay, we'll talk to Doug. You should, uh, how'd you end up here? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. It says Everett on it. Lee, oh, it is Lee's brother. Prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. All right, so let's. We probably got to go back inside. Um, let's just ask Doug how'd you end up here. Up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. Hmm. What about you? Grew up here. I know some folks here. Just ended up here. We'll go if I grew up here. Up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Good people. All right, let's go back inside. Um, let's head back inside. We'll talk to Kenny, Duck, and Katya. And then we'll try and get in the office, but I would suspect that office is going to be locked. And then we'll have to figure out a way how to get the keys off our brother. Um, let's see. Here we go. Photographs. So that's going to be how we prove that that's our brother and the keys are probably on him. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> No, no indeed. Another oh battery. There we go. Let's walk around and grab that battery. Back to Fort Lauderdale. Is it both of them or just one? Just one. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out for one more battery here. Alright, what's the newspapers gotta say here? Nothing. Alright, some more photographs. Try to get some rest, hon. Alright, let's talk to the family here. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. No problemo. All right, let's go. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? Um. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Let's go. What's, What's the plan? That? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh... Yeah, we might as well tell people at this point. They uh, own this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. <laughs> How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee. You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? No, it's not. Pretty fast. Uh, we'll go if it happened pretty it happened fast. Pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. It'll be all right, Kenny. It will be all right indeed. All right, let's give Duck the other energy bar. Or do we have two energy bars? We got two. All right, let's give Duck one. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. All right, we'll take a gander at the ice cream menu. 
And then let's see if we can get in the office. My guess is not. Oh, we can get in. Okay. We'll probably need the keys to get into the pharmacy then. Clementine's coming in with us. A lot of blood on the ground. Not good. can't think about them in here. Alright, let's see what all we can find. Let's take a peek into the alley. The leads to the back alley. Okay, nothing there. Alright, what do we got? Some cabinets that we can't get up to. Can't walk on the mattress. Let's take a, take a peek at the photo. And then we'll grab the photo. A little family photo. Also proves that our brother out there. No, don't rip yourself off, Lee. No. Find anything? Uh, photo of the family that owned the place. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Hmm. <laughs> You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. <laughs> Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Um. Uh, no, we told people. It's Paco who's ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. <laughs> because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. Dang, Carly, coming out himself. strong. How can I trust you? Uh, let's go off. How can I trust How you? How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Dang. Alright, well, let's keep looking around here. We'll move this pallet. Gotta work our way into the pharmacy. Is that someone's cane? Yep. What's that? I guess that's Lee's that's dad's cane. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Aww. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and move the desk. Clear a path to opening that door. Oh. Let's move the desk. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. All right. Here we go. One, two, Watch three. Fingers in the drawers. Uh, things been scary, huh? How you been doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> oh, we need to check that first aid kit here in a second, too. Do you have kids? Nope. You don't have a family? Past tense. Um, let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? What do your parents do? Um, let's move to parents do my mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer those are good jobs what's your job I uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um, social studies yeah like that you didn't answer my question <laughs> all right a little further Lee just doesn't want to talk about it and that's okay Why don't you want to talk about your family? 
do they like hate you? <laughs> Dang, Clem. I uh, hope not. It's as complicated. I wouldn't blame them. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. If I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Uh, I got in some trouble, but let's keep that between us. Uh, let's go with. Um... I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Oh. Ooh, that's a deep okay? cut. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. All right, let's get you patched up. I'll find you a bandage. And hopefully some batteries in that first aid kit. All right, we got TV up there. Let's go ahead and open the first aid kit. Is there not a battery in there? Uh, Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. All right, let's... Probably in that drawer there. Clementine... What's this say? Look. All right, let's patch her up here. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. We're going to amputate it. All right, finger. Let's go ahead and put let's the bandaid on that. Cut covered up. Yes, please. Good as new. Lee? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll find they us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. Exactly. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then. Okay. All right. Let's open this drawer. See if there's anything in there. Hopefully, a battery. The remote. I don't know what the oh we can take the battery out of the remote. The remote to my dad's TV. Come on, take the battery out, Lee. All right. Um, I don't want to turn that on yet. Let's search this again. Is there a battery or anything in there? Luckily, no. there's nothing I need in here. All right. Well, um, let's try the office door. That's we'll look. the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah, but now we need the keys. Keys are on that zombie out on the street. All right, so we got to go back out. I don't want to turn the TV on. Um, we'll take a look at the bed. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. <laughs> or a protector, at least. All right, let's go back out. We'll talk to Doug. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Hmm. Uh, no, he wasn't. It's complicated. Yeah, he was. We'll go if it's, it's complicated. complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. All right. Um, we'll be nice. Let's give them the other power bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Try to be. All right, let's see if we can scavenge up that other battery as we do another loop around the store. Ah, here we go. Battery. Perfect. And then we can put the batteries in. Then we'll talk to Doug. Clem's in there. What about... Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? All right, what's Glenn got to say? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. 
We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's search back here. Nothing back here. Clem's doing great. No food in the box. Let's, uh, we'll repair the radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. All right, let's see what's going on. Still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Did Let you have a look at that thing? Did you power it on? Head. Or the antenna? I wonder if it's because the antenna's not up. No, the antenna's up. Um, let's flip it over. We've got the batteries in there, right? Yep, two batteries. Uh, pa oh, they got to flip one around. There we go. All right, positive, positive, negative, negative. All right, that should be good now. Let's try this. There we go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air now. Steve. Uh-oh. God bless you all. Oof, that is heavy. Well, I think this is a fantastic place to stop before we venture outside and try and save Glenn. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below what you think is going to happen when we try and save Glenn, when we try to go get the keys off our brother trapped under the light pole, anything I, anything like that. I would love to hear it from you guys. Uh, if you want to get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. If not, I'll see you in the next The Walking Dead The Game video.